this is a cream worm it's been working pretty good it's i got like a five fish with this and it still hasn't broken yet so it's a pretty good worm i'm using 12 pound mono on this one i like a light tackle on my worms i gotta buy a new spinning setup because this one is kind of old and it's cheap but yeah watching the line i know if the line goes like slack it's not a fish but if i see it running i set the hook immediately i'm gonna lift lift it and put it down just watch me catch like a two pounder or something like that personally for me a two pounder is a good fish This pond either gives you big fish or small fish, depends on the day. But usually as the day goes on, you'll catch big, bigger fish. Here we go. Didn't get a good hook set, but got it. My fish. Oh, there's a turtle there. No, that's a coconut, <laughs> bro. I'm scared of my phone falling, but yeah, yeah. Nice. First fish of the day. A nice. It was like a yeah, a half an ounce or maybe. I don't think a one pound. <laughs> Ooh, that that one messed up my thing. Let's see if we want to go for it again. my last cast with this i'm gonna switch to a swim bait i feel like bass are chasing bait today there we go That's a small fish what a weird way i got hooked oh, the po oh, hook just came off Exactly at that spot, same spot. Whoa. Wait, what'd you say? Tiny fish, tiny, tiny. Just came up. Done. Bada bing, bada boom. I guess, I guess it's the day of the dinks or something like that. I want a two pounder right now, bro. Give me a two pounder. Where, where are you, two pounder? When? When it's nice to have wind once in a while, but when you, you want to be able to catch a fish like this, personally. I 
I always like to keep this rod just for Sankos because I always switch out the other one because I always need a Sanko on hand because I like to I'm saying cuz too much right cuz 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 it's kind of a weird word you can spell it C-U-Z and C-U-E This one, uh, this one, mm, maybe. I need a hook now. Yo. What happened here? I'm the mechanic, let's go. I like to tie a simple uni knot. I think this is called a uni knot or fisherman's knot. I loop it like five times one, two, three, and four, and eh, five. Five times, go through hoop, ouch. Cinch it down, wet your fingers. And secure, I was, it's not gonna come out like this. Never failed me ever. Nah, in a billion years, it's never gonna fail you. It's gonna work all this time. That's too long of a tag. Oh. You basically, this is a screw lock hook. These cost you. These, I bought a pack of these and these. These run super. These are uh, used for salt water, but I use them. They work pretty well for fresh water, for bass. I caught a bunch of bass, I, I one peacock on them. Peacock gave a nice fight on this. There's big peacock in here, but they, uh, you rarely ever seen them. There's a bunch of stuff in here, but you never see them almost. It's like these rare chances. Like, the, I think there's big catfish in here, but you'd never catch them because there's big turtles too. Alright. Fixed. Done. Oh my god, I kept it upside down. Eh. Who's gonna care? The fish will notice. Now I'm gonna sink one, two, three, and just start slowly reeling it. Let's see how it swims. Oh, it doesn't swim good upside down. How much change it? Now let's see. Ooh, nice. I don't know if you can see it, but yeah, no, you can't see it. Oh, sorry. My bad, my bad, sir. Just got this. Let's go, nice. Nice one pounder. 
Yeah, nice. I thought it was a big one, but nah, it's a normal one. Uh, yeah. So yeah, nice. I wasn't recording because I was gonna go home. I'm gonna take a picture with it. Goodbye. That's all, folks.